Welcome back to the Terry Stringer Show. It's time for my favorite segment, Mediocre Mondays. Now for our first guest, struggling singer and songwriter, Derek Davis. <laughs> Welcome to the Stringer Show, Dick. Here, Dick, tell us about the years of hard work and dedication you put into becoming this level of mediocre. You just call me Dick. I mean, 33, and you've still really gone nowhere with your career. You probably should have thrown in the towel years ago. To what do you attribute your lack of success? Um, well, I, good question. I, I tell you, Terry, I just feel like the, uh, when things start going really well for me, my career is about to take off. I have all these great opportunities that are coming. It's like this act of God that uh, comes in and just ruins it for me. It's, you know, it just really kind of feels like um, Jesus is out to get me, is what it really feels like. I, so you're saying Jesus is responsible for your failure? Well, I'm not saying that exactly, but... Boy, Derek, do we have a surprise for you. Because backstage right now is our Lord and everybody else's Savior but yours, Jesus Christ! Thank you. Thank Jesus you. Christ! Thank you. Yay, my child. Thank you, everybody. Uh... <laughs> no, no, we're good. Thank you. I'm going to hold you. Welcome to the show, Jesus. Thank you for having me, my child. You've heard the accusations Dick has made about you sabotaging your career? I have, and they are most distressing. Um, at the end of the day, the reality here is that uh, idle hands truly are the devil's playground. And, um, well, perhaps if uh, Tricky Dick here made a little bit more time for his career instead of extracurricular activities, he might be a little bit more successful than he is today. Hang on, i got to take this second. Hello? Hey, Doc. Did they make a shot for that? Well, what am I supposed to tell my wife? All right, I'll be in tomorrow. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, what were you saying, Jesus? Well, the reality here is that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to rock star status except through me. Well, I've heard a rumor that Jesus likes to help the downtrodden. That is true, Terry. Dick? Derek? Whatever. I say to you, ask and it shall be given to you. Search and ye shall find. Knock and ye shall be of most righteous celebrity status. Dick, are you willing to ask Jesus for his help? Derek. I see a music video. The likes of which your mortal eyes have never known before. I see volleyball and beer and babes. And a sea of Derek Davis fans everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yay. Yay, my child. My father has spoken to me, and I shall star in your music video. <laughs> Golly, Jesus. You really do that for little old me? Yay, my child. But I cannot do it alone, for I will need Derek Davis fans everywhere to unite on July 16th at the Nickel Plate Depot for the music event of a lifetime. If you need, and you do, further information about how you can be a part of this endeavor, then you need to go to the Derek Davis Band Facebook page or the Derek Davis Band website. And further information can be obtained there. Now for my final thought. What have we learned today? I think we've all learned that truly, idle hands are the devil's playground. <laughs> now, I think we've also learned that the path to redemption is through Jesus Christ. And you could all go a long way towards redemption by showing up to the Nickel Plate Depot on July 16th and showing your support for Derek Davis and old JC. Yeah, you know it's drinking.